Hey, how's it going everyone? It's Mr. Thunderwing here. There was a suggestion in the comments of one of my other videos by a small obscure channel, someone you've probably never heard of, this guy called Larry Bundy. Hello you! That it might be a good idea if I were to put together a tutorial on how you can get the false feedback plugin that was created by Boomslang from the Build Your Own Arcade Controls forum, working for MAME, uh, which I've been showing a few videos of recently. I'm generally not the biggest fan of doing tutorials, just because I find them a bit of a ball ache to put together, but this is something that's actually pretty simple to do, so I thought I would just chuck together a quick video to show you how you can get this set up yourself. Now, I'm assuming here that you are familiar with MAME, and you're used to getting it set up to working with either a joypad or a wheel, but I will just have a very brief run through on what you need to do there. So, the very first thing that you need to do though, before any of that, is to get yourself a copy of the Full Feedback plugin. Uh, I'll put a link in the video description for you to download it from, and what you'll get is a zip file that looks like this. Once you've unzipped it, you'll get all these folders open up. The next thing you need to do is to get yourself a copy of MAME. I'm not going to put a link to that in the description because I'm assuming that you know how to use Google properly. Your MAME download will probably come in a zip file that looks like this. Once you've unzipped that, you should end up with a folder that looks like this. This is the main GUI here, which you double click on to actually run the games. Again, I'm probably teaching you all how to suck eggs here, but it doesn't hurt to go through the basics. Once you've got in-game, use the tab button to access the option to change your inputs. This is where you want to set up your wheel, accelerator and brake pedals using the options on the screen here. So now that we've got these basic bits out of the way, we can actually get on with getting the false feedback working in MAME now. So what you need to do is go back to the folder that you unzip from the FFB Arcade plugin zip, and then select this folder here if you've got the 64-bit version of MAME, or this one here if you're using the 32-bit one. Um, just ignore this one I've got here. Uh, this was a special test plugin version for people specifically using Windows 7. So if you double click on this folder, you've got various different files here that you need to use. What you want to do with these is highlight them all, and then either cut or copy and paste them into your actual main folder. Now, I've already got all the bits and pieces in there, so I'm not going to do that all over again. The other thing that you're going to need to get this working is a main INI file, which has got some specific commands in it, which instruct the emulator to output commands for the false feedback plugin to listen to, to actually make it work in the first place. And that's this thing here. Now, you'll actually need to make this yourself. So what you need to do here is create a new, if I can find it, text file or text document. So double click on that. Then you need to basically put the information that I just showed you in this main INI file into the text document. What I will do is add that into the video description for you to just copy and paste into that. Once you finish with that, what you then need to do is save this as MAME.INI Now this is a process I've done tons before for lots of other emulators, but for some reason when I was getting this set up for the first time, the text document saved itself as a text document called MAME.INI rather than actually saving itself as an INI file and this caused lots of head scratching as I was trying to figure out why it didn't work. So what I would suggest is probably just initially save your text file as something called MAME. Uh, so save it, close it, then reopen it, and then just change the extension to INI, resave it, and then you should get that INI file forming then. I hope that makes sense. Now the next thing that we need to do is to use the FFB plugin graphical user interface to get the information from your wheel. So double click on this to open it up. Go to false feedback setup here. So with your wheel plugged in, the information for it will display in this drop down menu here. I haven't got any pads or wheel or anything plugged in at the moment, so that's why it's saying it can't detect any joystick. But all you would do is just drop down on that, select your wheel, and then it'll come up in the box here. Now these are all the games that you can get working in MAME at the moment with the false feedback plugin. 
Because I've got my monitor set to a strange custom resolution that's actually foreshortened the end of the GUI here, I'm just going to change my desktop resolution now just to fit everything in. There we go, so these are all the games there that you can get working in MAME. Now, if you actually click on an individual game, you then get some further options that you can change. Uh, so you can change the strength of the force feedback, uh, spring strength, uh, minimum force, maximum force, all these sorts of different things here. And for the majority of the main games, that is literally all you need to do to get the force feedback working. Now, Virtua Racing is a slightly different one. You do need to change some bits in the game's test menu, which I'll show you how to do now. So first of all, you need to go into the game's test menu by pressing F2 on your keyboard. Once you're on this screen, what you need to do is use the VR buttons to navigate your way through the menu. The game very helpfully tells you which one does what, so use the green button to navigate through each submenu, and then use the red one to make your selection. Go to where it says cabinet, and then make sure that it's set to upright. The Virtua Racing ROM doesn't generally tend to be set to that by default, and will most likely be set to standard mode. Once you change that, exit that menu, make sure that you save your changes, and then you can leave the test menu. And once you've done that and you start the game, false feedback should now be working for you. And that is pretty much all there is to it, to get false feedback working in the list of main games that you could see in the GUI for the FFB plugin. And getting false feedback working with the games in Technoparrot is even more straightforward than that. All you need to do is click on the folder and then basically copy and paste all the information from here into whichever folder you've got that Technoparrot game. Making sure, of course, that you don't forget to click on the FFB GUI and then selecting your wheel from the device GUID drop down menu here. It's alive! Alive I tell you! Alive! And copying and pasting all the information here across into the individual game folders, then clicking on the FFB plugin GUI, and then selecting your wheel information from the drop down GUID menu, is literally all you need to do to get those games working in Technoparrot. Now, I haven't tried running any games in Demule or Supermodel using the FFB plugin yet, but I can't imagine that there's going to be anything different there that's going to involve completely reinventing the wheel. And don't forget that the plugin does come with a README file which is designed to help get you up and running with all these different emulators and games in the first place. So anyway, that's the end of the video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button, leave a comment on the video, and if you want to be a top mega awesome super dude or dudette, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Catch you guys later. Bye!